Hey, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com and in this video I'll show you how easy it is to overdub voiceovers in Adobe Audition CC. So here we are in the multi-track, let's record something in. You say tomato, I say tomato. Okay, so there's my recording, let's unarm for a second and have a listen back. You say tomato. Rather quiet, but we can always boost the volume afterwards. Now, uh, say for instance, I wanted to overdub this last word here. Tomato, uh, let me just turn that up in volume so you can hear it. Let's uh, return back to where we were, back at the start. Tomato. Okay, so that's the word we want to overdub. So all you would do in the voiceover is literally just select the, the part that you want to overdub, like that, and then you'd put your playhead back a little bit, as far as you want, really, for the voice actor or for yourself, if it's you controlling Adobe Audition, uh, to hear the initial audio, and then you will hear the audio before and after your overdub. Uh, if you just click record, Okay, so I've armed to record, you can hear a little bit of echo coming back, and I'm just gonna to say tomato instead of tomato, and you'll hear how overdubs work. You say tomato, I say tomato. And there is our overdub, unarm the recording there, and uh, we'll play this back. You say tomato, I say tomato. There we go, and of course you can, uh, you can extend this out a little bit, or put a fade on the end, you can do whatever you want, you can mix it down, uh, but the idea is overdubs are a lot easier now in Adobe Audition CC 2018, as you can select just the area that you want to overdub, and then place your playhead back in time, so you can listen, so you can get the tone and the style of the voiceover, and match it as soon as your recording starts to punch in. I hope you enjoy using this feature in Adobe Audition CC 2018. We'll be